The first semifinal of the 2022 GNAC Men's Basketball Championships is in the books and the story continues for the Alaska Nanooks with a 63-58 win in the semifinals over Alaska Anchorage. With us now in the postgame press conference, head coach Greg Sparling along with senior Shadid Shabazz and Kobe Herta. Greg, what can we say? Congratulations, an impressive effort by your entire team on you know, arguably the, the biggest stage. Yeah, it, it's it's awesome. These guys well deserve the, the whole team. I mean, we're short bench. The guys have been stepping up when it's been needed. Uh, we held them to thirty-seven percent shooting. I, I I never thought that would happen on an Anchorage team, but our guys really stepped up. I thought uh, these guys, you know, closed out on the three ball really well. I thought Coleman did a good job on Augie. Our whole game plan was just not let him get going, uh, and then also not let him get threes up, but. I, I couldn't be more happy for these guys. It's been a long year with COVID stops and starts. Uh, with our travel, it's it's a lot of travel. I couldn't be more happy for the two seniors on both sides of me. Shadid, you finished with 33 points, 13 and 22 from the field, six of nine from the line, carried the team in the second half. What, you know, what, what fuels you? What what has driven you, especially in this season of adversity? It's just the grind. Everything we've been through, my teammates, my coaches, they put the faith in me, they put the, the energy in me, they trust me, and that just makes me go. And just seeing what we need on the court, it might not be scoring for me that night. It might be me dishing, it might be just me playing defense. Coach is always on me about not gambling, you know, and just keeping me sane and keeping me comfortable so we can get the win. You picked up that fourth foul with about 10 minutes left in the game. What, how, did, how, did, you know, how did you adjust? How in your head do you adjust to, to make sure you can stay out there, especially with the fact that you do have a short bench? I mean, honestly, I love to play aggressive on defense, especially. So, like, uh, teammates like Kobe Huerta and uh, Coleman, you know, just keeping my head in the game, they should be, you know, get this, this big foul, man, play, play back, play back, don't forget, because sometimes I will forget and go up and pick up, but then one you know, of my teammates get me back in the right mind state, and I just try to play as, as honest as I can. No reaching, no nothing. Close out, box out. Kobe finished with 14 points, but more impressively, all but 44 seconds on the floor tonight. Again, a result of, of that short bench. You know, how how do you stay out there and stay as resilient as you do for you know 39 minutes and change? Yeah, I mean, I mean, this is what this is what I worked on all off season, and right when I got up to Fairbanks, that's what I worked for too, getting shape and condition. I never knew we were gonna get down to this amount of guys. We only have play seven guys by I me. Mean, I prepared for it, so I knew it might come to this, so now that I'm playing all these minutes, I'm ready for it. Greg, you talked to briefly. But his nickname's the dog, so yeah. <laughs> you can go all day long. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, so, Greg, you touched on the game plan against uh, Augie Panovich, held him to six points. Uh, he was two of nine from the field. Talk about that game plan and, and how you prepare Coleman to, to be ready to have, you know, arguably the, the biggest defensive night of his career. It, 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 Augie's an all-conference guy. He's been an all-conference guy. He's probably going to be an all-west regional guy. I thought Coleman really stepped up. I thought our ball pressure was better on the wing, so they weren't getting direct line passes. But uh, he stepped up big. And then what, you know, when they did miss, they stepped up and we stepped up and got the rebounds. But you know what? I, I can't be more proud of these guys. The ride we've been on, it ain't over, and we're going to keep moving forward. But if we keep playing defense the way we are, Sky's the limits. Yeah, you guys, the, the GNAC all season long has been, you never know what's going to happen. Seems like anybody can beat anybody on any given night. We've seen that in the tournament with you guys making the finals, the 10. We've got the 9 seed in the other semifinal too. What is it about your guys' season that you think has prepared you to win games at this time of the year? I'll say it, the travel that we've gone through. We didn't have a home game until February. We were out on the road, so we're road tested. We're road tested, and I really thought these guys stepped up. What do you guys think? Yeah, in fact, playing on the road all those games and then not even getting to really bring people to the banks, you feel me, to really play us on our turf, you know, that really prepared us to play really in any gym. Yeah, I'll add on to that. Under just, all adversity. Yeah, just what they said, we've, we've been road tested, we've traveled so much, and just we've prepared for this all season long. We've been ready for it with the amount of guys we had, so I mean, I mean, we're ready for anything, and it, like it, it's March basketball, anything can happen. So, I mean, this is just so fun, and hopefully we can get one more tomorrow. Yes, sir. You have a lot of guys on your team from the Seattle area. 
what what does it mean to be able to to come down here and be able to play in front of friends and family who've been following you for all these years go ahead Dieter. man honestly my mom didn't get to make it tonight but i had other family out there but it's just a different type of energy when you're playing in front of your family especially because we don't get to see them that often unless we come to seattle so it's like it's just a different type of energy. You just want to play so hard so they can be proud of you. You know, you want to play hard all the time, but it's just different when you're in front of your loved ones. After you can just show them what you've been grinding on and staying down for. Them. And you know, the other thing is, it's like a home game for us, like you just said there. Seattle Pacific, we had a great crowd. You know, 5:30 game, good crowd. I thought as as the day night went on here, our crowd kept filling in, and they were very loud, and they helped us push us over the top. You'll play in the final tomorrow night. You'll either see Central Washington or Western Oregon. Uh, two good teams, no matter what the what the seat number is. What's it going to take for Alaska to shock the world and take the trophy home? I'll say something right away. Is, is we just got to keep playing defense the way we are, and we got to keep believing in each other. When people go on runs, we got to huddle up, get a timeout, whatever, get us refocused and come out and, and, and do what we do. Let these seniors take care of it. You don't see me over coaching them. These guys are on the floor, letting these guys do what they do best, play basketball. Yeah, and kind of with what Coach Spar said, like basketball's a game of runs. We were down, I think, 10 at halftime. We were in the locker room. We weren't panicking, yelling. We were staying calm. And we knew coming back out in the second half, like, we're, we're going to come out and win this game. So I mean, pretty much it just comes down to confidence and staying together. And we did that great tonight. I agree with that. Head coach Greg Sparling, Shadid Sabaz, Kobe Horta with the 63-58 win for Alaska over Alaska Anchorage. They will play in the finals of the GNAC Basketball Championships tomorrow night against either Western Oregon or Central Washington. Congratulations, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.